Ow! <laughs> oh my god. Whew! <laughs> You're so human-like! I am impressed. So today we're off on an adventure with Sirius Fox. We're going to check out some more full self-drive. We're actually going to the Tesla store. Had some bad news the other night. Unfortunately, I had a flat tire came up with a monitoring fault and it was due to this nail. Unfortunately, I didn't get any video of the nail, but I did get a photo. Editor Mike put the photo up on the screen there. Oh, that nail went right through. Um, the good news is Tesla Roadside Assist came out, put on a lone tire and the whole thing was done in about 40 minutes from them coming out, checking it, taking it off, putting the new one on and just like that. And they've already given me a quote for the whole tire and repair and replacement, $100. So the service to actually come out is completely free. It's just the actual repair cost. That is insane. So anyway, good time for us to go check out some full self-driving to the Tesla store, see if we get anything interesting along the way. Let's go. Start FSD supervised is now available. Press and hold. Oh, profile loaded. And uh, let's see if we can navigate out of this car park. Okay, I guess it can. <laughs> oh, gonna give way, but the car's got a speed bump. Yeah, okay, it's giving way. Now, this is interesting because it's taking it very slow. You can do it. Because uh, this is the entrance to the freeway, it's really got to speed up. Yeah, it's 100 now. Okay, 100. Okay, that's way too slow. I've got to put my foot down. We've got to merge with this traffic. There we go. Now it's getting the speed up. <laughs> oh man, the amount of times I've come out of there, but just, <laughs> this could do it. All right, so now it's a very straightforward drive on the freeway for quite a while. Um, I don't think we're gonna see much interesting happening along here, so most likely gonna be a time lapse, so hit it. Oh, okay, sorry, I was off looking at some birds flying and uh, Gotta look forward more. <laughs> Ooh, that was nearly a crash. Ooh. Oh, that was so close. Thanks, Perth Traffic, for giving a great example of why full self driving is such amazing technology. A little incident like that where the traffic comes to a standstill and you have to slam on the brakes, not a worry here. The car is constantly assessing everything that's going on around it. So if I was somehow distracted by birds like that, it's still going to slow down and make sure it doesn't have a collision. Love it, I love it! Oh, here we go. Ambulance is coming up behind us. Um, I think I'm gonna have to take control. Yeah, I'm just not risking it, I'm sorry, but if someone's life is literally on the line, I'm not risking it. Now, however, after it's passed, let's get back on. Okay, can handle going over a sealed line, getting back on the freeway. All I did was just put on the indicator to tell it I want to go into that other lane instead of staying in the uh, emergency lane there. While that might have been a really good example to see how FSD responds to an ambulance coming up behind, I just didn't want it to do something silly like slow down or just stay in the way. When an ambulance is en route, that means something seriously bad has happened and seconds matter. Don't worry, I'm sure there'll be plenty of other examples that we can look at where FSD takes on the challenges and see how it handles. Okay, a lot of cars merging in here. Perfect. <laughs> hey, 
Okay, we're just passing South Street now, so the next exit is Leach Highway coming up in two kilometers. Now, I know we've got three lanes to get across, plenty of time, but what I'm concerned about is uh, it's actually quite a difficult little exit ramp to navigate. It's not very clear, lanes are actually merging in and they're sealed, yet you've got to wait for a gap and then get across in the broken part. So I have always been curious and wondering, wonder how FSD would handle this? Time to find out. There's two lanes there and they're separated by sealed lines. We probably want to get across considering all of this traffic wants our lane. It's got 700 meters. Um, gonna get across, gonna slow down. Gonna, gonna do something? No, nah, looks like we're gonna miss that turn. Okay, it's indicating. It's trying to get in front. Yeah, it's given up. It's not happening. Okay, now it's getting across. Please don't just jolt over. Yeah, you missed that turn. I think that's a really good example here. With full self-driving, it'll definitely handle the driving, but in terms of the navigation and the way that you would like to get there, I think that's a really good opportunity to do some driver in. If I'd have actually just used the indicator and told it to get into the left lane earlier, it would have navigated the spot, got in there, and then have been set up to do that final lane transfer over. So, lesson learned. Left on a canning highway. puts us in the center lane, okay? Wow, this is nice. Well, 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 look at this. Speeding two kilometers in a 60 zone and we're doing 62. I never thought I'd see that. 63, oh, any more than that, oh, 64. Um, okay, I have to tell you to come down a bit, buddy. All right, back to 62. Easy there, Tiger, easy. Probably should mention we're not going directly to the Tesla service center yet. Actually stopping in at the music store first. I uh, broke my in-ear monitoring system, so I've had to buy some replacement headphones, so just quickly stopping in there first. come through. All right, here's the music store. Now, will it turn into the driveway? <laughs> yes, it will. And I am going to take that spot right there. I'm going to go in and get this and I'll be right back. Bye. Done. In-ear monitors are good, but I'm just thinking now, looking at the car, it's got to reverse out I guess onto this busy road here and then navigate back through this set of lights. So I'm going to turn on full self-driving and see how it does. Let's do it. Let's start. FSD supervised. Are you going to go reverse or go forward? Reverse. Okay. Left or right? I'm actually a bit worried here. Um, uh, Okay, I would reverse a bit more and then I would go to the right. I really hope it's not going to reverse out onto the road. That's what I would do. Uh, okay, there's a way out here. Are you going to reverse out? Oh, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, that works. Okay. Okay, now this is a super busy road, and we're going out. Yep, okay, we're clear. <laughs> Ow! Okay, it just did everything that I would have done. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I thought that was going to fail. Oh, look at this. Okay, we've got a truck on the road. It's covering too much of the road. We've got to go over the line, but there is oncoming traffic. Now, are we going to gamble and go across, or are we going to come to a stop? Jeez. Okay. Yep, it decided to stop. Nudging out. <laughs> ha ha! 
Okay, again, that's exactly what I would have done. Far out. You're so human-like! Okay, cars are parked on the left side of the street, completely blocking off the road. What? Just drives like anyone else would. <laughs> okay, we are alongside a school, but it's outside of school zone speed limits. That is another thing to test, so let's test that. Oh my god. Okay, we're turning right onto Leech Highway. This is a busy road and this is across two lanes of traffic and then merging into another two lanes of traffic. Um, I would be sweating me driving this. Let's see how full self-driving does. All right, it's clear. Please stop halfway, I'm ready on the brake. Oh my God, okay. This is what we do, but this is where it's very blind trying to clear. There's a cars coming and they're occluded by a car turning behind us. I actually can't see. All right, now there's a spot, you're gonna go? No, nope, it's waiting. All right, so far we're halfway there and it's all good. Okay, again, traffic is occluded by this giant van. And we're clear. Whew! <laughs> okay, I have to admit, I was a little bit worried there. Um, and I think it's going to take me a few times of doing intersections like that before I'm not worried and I completely trust it. That is a hazard, but it actually did it perfectly. Even when there was a little gap and I might have contemplated going out, it decided to wait. Traffic was clear and then went for it. I am impressed. Wow. How am I still impressed? All right, we're through the intersection. So we've got 1.2 Ks to get ourselves over to turn left. Uh, traffic does go very slow here because it's a bit of an uphill. Oh, there's a gap. Come on, speed up a bit. Right, okay, one kilometer. You want to start getting over. Come on, FSD. 900. Let's not have another one of these mistakes and add more time onto our journey. Go over. Eight. Hey, that's more like it. Now this lane's completely clear. I absolutely have no concern that it's gonna get over and turn in 500 meters. Very cool. <laughs> oh wow, okay, look at this, service tips. Open your Tesla app, stay updated, review your service information, and follow instructions to pick up your Tesla. This is not. All right, let's do exactly that. All right, um, let's do it. In my next video, I'll go through a breakdown of the service and the unexpected cost, as well as more full self-driving and a test drive of the new Model Y. Oh, hello, dream car. It's really nice and I want one. <laughs>